What is up guys, this is Phoenix HD Gaming, and welcome to the first episode of Back to Front. In this series, as you see on the screen, we are just having a BPL squad with Shamak up front. But basically, as soon as the game starts and I get the ball, I'm going to sub a defender, or a centre back, or a right back, or a left back, into strike and see how well they do. I'm going to do a review on them. And this first episode, we have David Luiz after he scored his screamer free kick for Brazil. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough coins for his PSG man in the match, but I do have his Chelsea card, and he looks like he has very good stats to be a good striker, but hopefully we'll find out. The reason I'm subbing him on is that he'll get full chemistry in the match, so he'll play to his full potential, and I'm not putting any chemistry styles on him, so he'll play as his card shows. I hope you like the idea of this new series, it's a bit different uh, from just career mode. And let's get into the in-game stats of David Luiz at centre-back. And here we are back at the in-game stats of David Luiz. And he has surprisingly good attacking stats. 80 ball control, 68 crossing, 73 curb, 69 dribbling. Finishing is only 58, but that's not too bad for a centre-back. He has a good long and short pass. His shot power is 76. And... He has okay volleys, he's 6 foot 2, high attacking work rate, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, and his only poor stat is his 49 attacking positioning. And here we are in the clips, and the first thing I want to say about him is that he got 9 goals and 4 assists in the 5 games. 4 of the matches were whole games, and in 2 of them they the opponent rage quit at half time. Uh, so he must be getting a 10 out of 10, as he contributed to 14 goals in the 5 matches. But he isn't actually, and I will explain that to you shortly. But um, seven of the goals did actually come in the two games, so that might have padded his stats a bit. In the three other games, he only managed to get two goals and four assists. That's still very decent. His first real positive is his dribbling. Um, it was really, really good. His three-star skills is the best he can get for his centre-back, and that's so useful for... The really easy skills to dribble in and out of people. Um, the next was his finishing, which was very, very strong. But if you managed to get it right, it almost always went into the back of the net. And also very strong were his finesse shots, which he has quite decent curve in the 70s. And his across the body shots into the far corner of the goal also went in most of the time. Um, his pace was quite decent for... A striker you won't really need anymore unless you're a bit of a pace whore. But when you are dribbling, it's his strength. You think, because David Luiz is a very strong centre-back with who wins loads of headers and is very pacey. But at striker, this all seems to change and reverse, as he hardly won any headers for me. Uh, if he did win the header, although it was very, very strong and powerful and it always ended up in the back of the net. I think I scored three with him. But the amount of crosses I tried and the defender always managed to outmuscle him and win the header. Uh, dribbling through, he can shrug off a few challenges but usually ends up falling to the floor after a bit. I'm not sure if that's down to his aggression or down to his strength. But his shot power, unless you get it absolutely perfectly, like I did in one, where it very, very nearly goes in from almost the halfway line. Uh, his shot power is quite poor. And if his shot power was just a bit higher, I would have scored, I think, double the amount of goals. The one main problem you might uh, have thought of is his positioning. And it's not as bad as you would have thought. Uh, he sometimes stands at the edge of the penalty area when you just want him to be in the penalty area, scoring those goals, putting the finishing touches on the moves. But if you have a second striker who will be able to do that, he'll be the one to clean them up as the defender makes the clearance. So, David Luiz was quite a good card. Um, it was much better than I was expecting. I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. And this is because his positives were dribbling, finishing finesse shots, his freestyle skills, the heading power and accuracy. His pace was decent for a striker. 
but the negatives were his strength. He never won headers. His shot power was okay, and his positioning was sometimes a bit off. But thank you for watching this uh, review, guys. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we should have an episode of Career Mode coming out later. But thank you for watching. Peace. Yeah.